Hi, it's starting out with Way Loving Recipes. Today, I'm going to be doing a cauliflower crust thin and crispy pizza. This is a uh, roasted vegetable pizza, so it's got some roasted zucchini, red and yellow and green bell peppers, onions, and a three cheese blend. So, sounds tasty. And right before I get started here, I wanted to mention if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to support the channel on Patreon, that's patreon.com slash bgrill. That's just a short name for one of my other channels, so it's easier to remember, patreon.com slash bgrill. But let's get started with this cauliflower crust, thin and crispy pizza. So this will be interesting. Let's go. All right, so I've got my cauliflower crust pizza here, thin and crispy. I'm just going to take it out. And to start out, you know, with pizzas, typically start out face down on the uh, parchment paper. That's parchment paper I have there. So I'm just going to get this open, and I'm going to start like that, like usual, getting it on some uh, parchment paper face down. Let's get the wrapper off here. And that's if you've seen my other frozen pizza guidelines video. Always start with the frozen pizzas face down. Everything's frozen so shouldn't splash around too much. So I've got it right there. Going to start with the uh, cover on here. Cook time five minutes. Start. And so that's cooking at high power 350 degrees and uh, basically I just wanted to show you the cooking instructions that come with the pizza and you normally if you were using a conventional oven you would use 425 degrees and you have to wait for that preheat and after it's preheated then you can finally put it in unlike the new wave you just put it right in and go you don't have to preheat the new wave oven but it would bake for 12 to 15 minutes in a conventional oven and I will say for comparison's sake, I have made one of these in a conventional oven just so that I'll be able to give it a fair comparison when I do the taste test to how it was in a conventional versus the new wave cook. So this has some more minutes to go. I'll bring you back for the next step after this is done. All right, after three minutes have passed, something bad's happened here. The whole thing is separated from the cauliflower crust. So, I just want to get this flipped over now. The cauliflower has uh, turned up on me. Kind of weird. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip that. Get that foil wrapped around the Help keep things in. All right. I'm just gonna put that foil down, and now I'm gonna just cook it. I'm gonna try for five minutes, and we'll see what happens. So I'll cancel. Cook time five. Start. I'll bring you back uh, when five minutes is up, or we see some changes with this. Okay, that five minutes is up, so let's see what's going on in there now. Now it looks awesome. So, just going to get it out of here. And I'm, I'm going to say, basically, you know, you want to cook that crust some. Because you want it to be nicely cooked on the bottom side. Even though the bottom side is pre-cooked, you still want it to get a little, you know, a little crispy cook on it. So... Even though it looks a little messy for that three minute with the face down, it does, you know, help to cook the bottom some and then you just have to kind of put it together a little bit and flip it. So it turned out okay. I will say for the uh, pizza flipper that I use, because people always ask, I don't even think they make this anymore, but this is a, uh, you probably can see right there it says New Wave. This was the official New Wave pizza flipper when they used to offer that. But I don't even think they offer any more. So if you you don't have the new wave pizza flipper, you'll have to you know try and manage the parchment paper and 
maybe get a spatula or something under there and, and try and do the best you can flipping but try not to make a mess but I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, pizza slicer and cut some slices from this all right so I got my uh, plate here and get that out of the way so you can better see here I'm just gonna slice this pizza up and so basically eight minutes is pretty good you know compared to 12 to 15 with preheating which is basically more like 20 minutes plus when you consider the preheat time to just down to eight minutes is pretty good I will say for look this looks you know about the same as the one I made in a conventional oven a while back I'm just going to get a piece off of here. Leave a slice. Alright, I'm going to get the camera adjusted now and we'll do a taste test. Alright, so here's the cauliflower crust in pizza. The crust, uh, you can see it's, you know, it's got a little hardness to it, which is pretty good. I will say this looks pretty good now. So, I'm just going to taste test to confirm. It's pretty good. I will say the crust is just a little less crispy than when you do it in a conventional oven, but all the same, it's still good. I will say the way this was starting to look initially, it looked like this might be one that I'd have to throw on my fails. You know, I thought uh, there are ones that fail. There are attempts that I do on the new wave oven that fail and things that don't work out. I have found more things that don't work out as well as I hoped on the new wave oven. That's the type of stuff that I uh, reveal on Patreon. I uh, put on the Patreon page, you know, in Patreon, there's Patreon chat and there's Patreon messaging and such. And I'll be putting messages there for anyone who signs up on Patreon to become a patron. Details of things that fail, things that have failed, and in the future other things that do fail. Also have access to private Patreon chat and other things that, you know, maybe I'll think up later to just add in as other features. But basically it's patreon.com slash dgrill. This one worked out. We'll call it a success. And so if you did like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share the video with your friends. You can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out SuperWaveOvenRecipes.com, which is the blog that has plenty of recipes and other instructions for things like the new Wave Oven and the RangeMate Pro. And you can also find me on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. And good eating.